Today I'm here with my coworker Karen Jeffers. She's our nurse navigator here at Park Central and she's gonna give us a little bit of information. I think during COVID, a lot of people have become more aware of the difficulties that their parents are having. Um, senior isolation we know can cause problems with dementia, depression, memory loss, even the loss of physical abilities. What are some of the steps that families can take when they start seeing these issues with their parents? It would be great if there was just this big sign that said mom's not safe anymore or mom's having difficulty, but it's not like that. Most of the time, the changes are subtle. It's just that we see that something's different. Mm -hmm. We go to the house and there's a pile of mail that hasn't been opened or there's laundry that hasn't been done in two weeks when normally she did it every single day and folded it and put it away or your brother says that there was a pot that was left on the stove and boiled dry, those kinds of things. And in and of themselves may not trigger that there's a problem, but when you put them all together, you see that there is something going on. And so first and foremost, um, taking them to the medical provider, encouraging them to see their doctor to find out if there is something you know, physiological going on that can be treated is really important. But then sitting down with your parent and having a conversation about what you see, saying, you know, mom, I see these things and I am worried about you. I'm worried about your safety. And hearing what she has to say is really important. Doing it with compassion and just taking everything in that she shares with you about what is, what is going on um, is, is key to being able to get the services that she needs to maintain her independence. The goal when you talk to your parent needs to be that you want to maintain independence, not take it away. And sometimes we have to add services to do that. Sometimes we have to move to a different level of care to do that. Sometimes we have to change um, driving or change the way that we take medications to do that. But the goal is always to maintain independence and to keep your parents safe. Mm -hmm. If you have any more questions about this difficult subject, please don't hesitate to give us a call. We're not only here for our residents, but we're here to help you live your best life.